What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping onto that Rank Ladder for Series 8, trying to show off all the restricted mons. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a team today. We got ourselves a weakness policy Lugia team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. And if you guys haven't checked out any of my brand new playthroughs yet on Super Mario 3D World or Bowser Spirit, go check it out. I'm having a blast playing those games. Games. They're a lot of fun and the videos are awesome. But rocking out on our front spot, we got the one and only Lugia on our team. I don't know why I waited this long to show off this legendary. It's such a cool legendary with the psychic and flying typing, and its design is absolutely amazing. Just look at that thing. It's so cool. It really is. It has that multi scale ability, which is phenomenal, and that weakness policy item. So those two go hand in hand with each other. We got Arrow Blast, as I think that's a signature move, I believe. We also got Earth Power, Calm Mind to set up, and Shadow Ball for coverage. Right next one, we got a Life Orb Rillaboom with the Grassy Surge. Knock off for items. Grassy Guy for first turn priority and stab damage high horse power for coverage and we have fake out on him as well behind my face cam we got nihilego and ultra beast with beast boost ability power herb as his item so we can go meteor beam in one shot then we got thunderbolt for a coverage move and sludge bomb for our stab and then final move is going to be protect right next one we got an eject button grimstarl to actually uh get get some of those gmax pokemon out the way if we know they're gonna uh gigantamax we're just gonna give them the, uh, the eject button hit them and tell them to get out of our face and roll from there we also have thunder wave to pester with paralyzes Big cheers for special defense drop and spirit break as our hitting move. Bottom left corner, we got Incineroar as our Intimidate Pokemon with the Assault Vest so it can survive a little bit longer up against special attackers. Player Blitz for stab, Fake Out, because Fake Out rocks. U-turn so we can swap out, Snarl to lower special attack. Then in the final spot, we also got Hitmon Top with another Fake Out on. So we have three Fake Out users on the scene, which is pretty dope. We're going to be able to flinch a lot and roll out from there. We got Intimidate on him as well, so double Intimidate, that, that works very, very well. Hopefully go up or up against some physical teams. We can just intimidate, drop them, and roll from there. Let's got the Citrus Berry. Then we got Close Combat for Stab, Wide Guard for double hitting moves, and Bullet Punch for first turn priority. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that Ranked Double Ladder and try to get some wins with this Lugia team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team alongside with Venusaur, well, Chlorophyll, Venusaur, and the Torkoal. They just have Obstagoon as well, which is pretty dope. Which is pretty dope. I gotta bring my Incineroar as that uh that Intimidate dropper onto that Calyrex because he is physical attacking. And we do have Snarl for all the other special attackers, which is cool. Um, who else should I go in? Should I lead a Lugia? Lugia's not a bad lead. He really isn't. Kinda do like it. I might just lead him. Could rock my policy. Can't do that. Could be fine. I am multi-scaled. I think this is speed and uh yeah, it's speed and HP for his Where's EVs? That's pretty good. Uh, what's Rolling? Rolling's attack HP. And we got special attack speed. I do like Nihilego. Nihilego is really good. I could lead Nihilego as well. He just work all around. I definitely want to bring in Nihilego. I might lead him. It'll be pretty solid. Uh, so we have that Intimate. I might bring in two Intimate Pokemon for this battle. Go Lugia or lead Nihilego. Bring Lugia in the back and then just have him on top in the back. Him on top would be really good with that wide guard. It would be really good with that Y guard. I'm liking this. For later usage, let's get it. Double Intimidate on this squad. We rolling out with it. And I bring that Incineroar because of the Snarl too. Snarl works out really, really well. I feel like we do not really need Robin here too much. I feel like Lugia and Hilego can uh, pick up pick up the KOs and then a little support mods in the back. And Incineroar can actually pick up some KOs too. But the thing is, Lugia is invested in HP and speed. So he's going to rely on his uh, Calm Mind getting set up and his uh, weakness policy proc in order to roll out pretty strong. Well, Obscoon is going to take an Intimidate, which is huge. Uh, what's called is going to come out here. The, uh, the Dust Cop. So he might set up a Trick Room. He might just set up a little Trick Room. Intimidate. Get that rolling. Uh, do I Meteor Beam right off the rip? Get after somebody. He's Defiant? Oh, no. He's got to go. He's got to go. We're, we're, he's got to go. Oh, my lord, dude. He's boosting up. And he's got the Adrenaline. Oh. Okay, yo. We, he's got to go. He's got to go. Fake him out. He's got to go. He's gotta go! He's gotta go. He's gotta go. Do not die, Max. Do not die, Max. This thing's adrenaline orbed and defiant? I thought it was gonna be rocking guts. He's gonna obstruct. That's very scary. Oh my lord. This dude is nuts. This dude is nuts. He doesn't play around. He does not play around. The defense harshly fell. Bro, this dude is nuts. This dude is insane. 
Is that what Obstruct does if you hit into him? He gets a defense drop? Got pain split me. Okay. Does that do anything? Just do a little bit of damage. That is not. So I did get the, the boost. Can you turn out? I gotta double up in this thing. I need I need to get rid of him. I guess we'll go for a sludge bomb here. I do as much damage as I can. I am boosted on my attack. Hopscreen's going crazy. Don't close combat me. KO me. Oh! Oh, I don't like that at all. I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. Just do it, take a defense drop, which is nice. Wait, what's gonna drop? Get after it. Oh my lord. Get some work on me. Here's my recoil damage. And are you setting up a tricker? Okay, so here goes the trick. The trick room is popping. I do not want to get out that. Actually, I could get out. I mean, now I'm just going to get Lugia straight out here. I'm going to get Lugia bopping here. I think I had to Dynamax Lugia. And roll from there. I need, I need Obscreen out the way. I really do need Obscreen. There's another Flare Blitz. We'll, we'll do work. We'll finish that off. And I think I just Dynamax and Wake. Or do I Phantasm? Start lowering special defense. Yeah, I should Phantasm here. Actually, I'm going to Calm Mind Boost. I am going to call my boost here. Try to set up my Lugia. Let's see. What are you doing? Dude, he really, really adrenaline orb and defiant, man. I thought he was going to be guts. I thought he was going to be guts. And then on top of it, he's just like, nah, yo, and I'm adrenaline. Just to rub it in your face. <laughs> just to do you dirty. Let's see what's going on here. He might obstruct again. Yeah, he is going to obstruct. So we are going to get a nice free calm mind here. Start wasting out these tricking turns. Whatever's coming out. Block. Okay. And then he gets a defense drop. I need to swap him out. Like, he needs to go. I might just U turn. I might try to drop a U turn, pick up a KO from there. His defense is low, so I think it can. I think it can pick up the KO. Boost near. And he's just going to go for another trick room and swap him back. That's totally fine. I think a U turn's got to come out here. Yeah, let's U turn. Try to pick up the KO with that. Um. Oh, should be faster. I could try your stream now. You know, I'm just trying to drop a phantasm onto onto the boy right there. We are plus one on special attack. I'm gonna roll out now. Geez, yo, that option is really scary. He really is. His attack is dropped. Well, it was boosted. Now it's dropped again. It's and his defense. So I'm hoping. Incineroar should be able to I don't know. If I get plus one Incineroar, Obscune, Obscune still should be able to That's great. But hopefully he goes after Lugia or something along that line. Knockoff's coming out here. That's fine. Takes off my policy. Actually, procs it, which is huge. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Instead of taking it off, it just procs it. Now I get off a plus three Phantasm. Let's KO. It's not stab. But we're ready to roll. We're ready to roll now. Multi scale coming in clutch. Because that should have did a lot of damage. But since we're multi scale, oh, we get a crit. We love to see it. We get a crit. That's huge. Defiance coming out here. So he needs to go. We need to KO him with this. U turn. U turn. Take him out. I mean, I can pick him out next turn, though. U turn. Come out here. U turn. KO. Pick it up. Let's go. Okay. So U turn picks up KO. What's called stats are going back to normal. My Incineroar. I am going to be able to bring out my boy right now. Which is huge. My boy hit him on top for another Intimidate. It was the five Pokemon's probably going. Hopefully he throws out some physical attacks. So I got double Intimidate rolling out here. And I have my Lugia pretty much set up with plus three and plus one on special uh, defense. Which is dope. Plus three special attack, plus one special defense. We're rolling out here. We're doing just fine. I'm gonna go into Calyrex. That's totally fine. I might swap. He is gonna go into Torkoal as well. I could Wide Guard. I might do. I might Wide Guard here. Unnerve. I'm probably going to wide guard instead of faking out. I could fake out the Torkoal. Actually, I am going to fake out. I'll wide guard next turn. Fake out on you. And then I could just start quaking. But he might, he just might be policy. That's scary. Just kind of scary. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Could swap first. That Intimidate didn't come out? Why didn't, why didn't the Intimidate come out? You minus one? I'm all confused. This thing not Intimidated anymore? I'm a little confused. 
But I am just going to uh, Phantasm, I guess, over on Why didn't the Intimidate come out? You can't, you turn into a, an, an Intimidate mod? Is that not how it works? I don't like that at all. I don't like that one bit. Lugia will outspeed, that's the thing. We do have a little, we do have a little problem. Oh, he's gonna Dynamax to Torkoal, man! Oh! Dude's crazy. Calyrex is probably protecting that. That was a smart play. We are plus one on special defense, but I really, really like here. They got just going to do a little bit of damage on my boy. And Phantasm should just pick up the KO then. Say, hey, yo, Calyrex, get eat. E. I don't like that. I don't like it one bit. I think he's going to take me out. His defense is dropping. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Leave me alone. Miss. Miss your... I should have went for the guard. Going for the wide guard. Gonna grab my hand on top. Come on top, eat it, buddy. There you go, all day. Gonna get a special defense boost. I think he's really that slow. I don't know why he switched up Trick Room again. Do you think I was gonna Trick Room? Is that his play? Eat this up. Oh, he's gonna drop a Trick Room now. Okay, so now that he drops a Trick Room. I like he drops a Trick Room. I'm going to Bull Punch. To pick up that KO, and I am just going to uh, wake in here for a special defense boost. I think we are rock a bull punch. This should pick up the KO, right? Pick it up. Do it. Do it for free. Let's go. Hit my top. Let's get it, baby. I think we're gonna be a good sleeper pick here. He's gonna probably flare on me, or he might special defense boost as well. Now he's gonna go for another flare. Hopefully we can eat this one up. Eat it up, baby. All day, Lugia. He's bulking up. He's bulking up. We're gonna get that special defense boost for both of us. We're gonna do a little bit of damage here. And this, this match is pretty much a wrap. It's pretty much a wrap here. We set up with the Lugia. We had our Intimidate Mons out here. And we were rolling. Got this one in the bag. Wanted to know to get this video started. Which is lovely. Which is just lovely. But let me, somebody let me know in the comment section down below. Did his Intimidate not come out because of the U-turn? Can you not U-turn into an Intimidate? I, I honestly do not know. So that's why I'm asking you. We're rolling here. I think I just uh, go for close combat. Try to do as much damage as I can. I don't want to show off Arrow Blast. Arrow Blast looks so sick. So I am going to show off Arrow Blast here. He's gonna go before me, so he's probably gonna pick up the KO. Or he just cancels the battle. There we go. One and no to get us started. We get up to our second battle and try to get a win streak along with this Lugia team. Second battle coming at you guys, going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team. We dominated in that first battle, was able to set up Lugia and roll out from there. But something I want to go over before we actually start this battle is my upload schedule as of right now. We are starting to do some double uploads, so hopefully you guys are enjoying all the content that we are bringing to the channel. I got Super Mario 3D World, Bounce Fury, and Pokemon content, and I feel like I have so much content going on. I feel like the only way to get all of it out is by double uploading. So as you guys can tell, we, we double uploaded uh, 3D World and Bowser's Fury, and today we did uh, Pokemon Sword Shield and Bowser's Fury. So hopefully we'll keep some double uploads rolling and you guys do enjoy the content. But who should I lead? Um, hmm. I don't know. He just had the Whimscott for the Tailwind. I kind of want to uh, go in maybe with the Fake Out Incineroar into Lukia. I could do that. I could do that. I kind of want to bring, uh, I don't want to bring Nihil Lego and Bilboom as our final mons. I think they work out pretty well here. The same team that we brought the first one. Is it? I, it might be. <laughs> I totally forget already. I really do. But we're going to roll out here. If you guys want to give it a little clap, please hit it with an arrow blast. Take it out from there. Not I, I might not Dynamax just yet. But I do want to get rid of that one Scott so he doesn't just tailwind up and go from there. But he might not even lead it. Let's see what he does. Let's see what the boy does. He's going to go into... You know what's fine, maybe? He's going to go Calyrex and Lele. So no fake outs allowed. That's fine. Calyrex is special attacking and Lele. So I am going to go for a Snarl. So that works out for me. I'm gonna go for a snarl and I am going to try to get off a uh a calm mind. I think I think I think we're rocking with that. If I get off a calm mind, that's a special defense boost. That's really good for us. And we are multi-scaled. So the surge is popping here. But we do not have a psychic move on this Lugia. That would be big. Eliminate does nothing. They're both special. But again, we have snarl, which is, which is really good. Which is really, really good for us. So I'm gonna go for the snarl. And I am going to attempt to pull off this calm mind. And roll from there. First hit, we should be able to eat up fine. He might Dynamax. He might just Dynamax. Which, I mean, I'm, I'll be fine if he Dynamaxes. As long as my Pokemon go first and I'll speed. Which I know Lugia should be pretty decently fit. I don't, I'm not too sure about that uh, Calyrex speed. I know Lele is like mid-tier, kind of like Incineroar, so they should be close. But Lugia should be faster than uh, Lele, at least. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing. So hopefully we can get off this Snarl and this Calm Mind beforehand. And we are multi-scaling, which is really big. Really big for 
Maybe I should have Dynamax. He's gonna go with the Calyrex. Leave me alone, buddy. Leave me alone. Calyrex is very, very strong. Both horses are very, very strong. They always been. Now with Calyrex on it, I think they're top tier team. He's gonna be able to go for a strike. He's gonna get first turn. He's, he's really fast. He, and he's gonna go after Incineroar, which is fine. We eat up. He's gonna slow us down. He's gonna slow us down. Okay, I'm fine with that. The speed drop coming out here. And what is Lele going for? An expanding force, maybe? Lele going for expanding. He's gonna go for a gleam. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. We're gonna be able to eat. I'm gonna be able to go for a nice little combine here. Now I'll Dynamax. I'm gonna be able to get off a Snarl here as well. Which I really, really like. And I'm gonna start boosting my speed probably back to normal. Because it is my sad move that I can roll from there. Snarl comes out. Yeet. We're doing work here. We're doing work all around. And get that special attack drop on you. We're gonna get it on you. Who was who, who was super effective? No policy. Okay, so no policy. That was, that was really what I was worried about. I'll snarl again, and now I'm going to Dynamax, and I could drop a Phantasm. Drop a Phantasm on either or. But I think I'd rather just Dynamax and Arrow Blast, get my speed back up. Let's try out speed, and we'll go after a Lele slot. I'm not I'm not dealing with the Lele. I could see a Max Guard coming out from him. Again, we're plus one on special defense for my Lugia, and they're minus one on special attack. So I'm like Mercy. I really am. But I feel like maybe Incineroar can eat up another shot. He has Assault Vested as well. So that's why he did eat up Beast as well. We had a lot of HP back here. We're at 358. Just dandy candy. He's going to be able to go for a Phantasm. And he's going after. He's going to go after Lugia here. Proc my policy. Thank you very much, kind sir. So Lele is definitely gone. And we're going to take speed back. Actually, he's still out speed. Now, if we had multi-scale with it, we would have to be at full HP. That would only did half that damage. Now, I'm going to snarl on that thing again, which is huge. Gleam's going to come out here. Sonora's able to eat. Lugia's going to be able to pick up the KO. No problem. I'm plus three. We're going to take you out. Get him out of here. And I think I'm going to boost my speed again after this. He's going to be minus two on special defense. Or special attack. Oh, my lord. Yeah, Lugia's setting up, baby. we setting up just fine. So not a bad lead. Not a bad lead. Worked out in our favor. Snarl comes out. Oh, yeah. Jeez, that's doing more and more damage. Was that crit? It did a lot of damage for a Snarl. <laughs> it really did. Okay. Um, let's try to go from here. I think maybe we can just KO that thing with a flare, but I'm really not worried about it anymore. I'm really not. I'm going to be more worried about the Pokemon on the left slot. I still have two solid attackers with Nihilego and Rollboom in the back end. I'm going to go Man Nemo Swine, which I should be able to outspeed. And... It's snarl. I could flare blitz. I think I am gonna flare blitz there. I could get the defense drop. Which is really nice. Yeah, we're gonna take out you. Get the defense drop and try to get a flare blitz rolling out on this thing. He could strike to lower our speed again. He is still fastest on the field, I believe. Is he minus one to us? And now we're just back to normal. But Luki is gonna be able to eat up whatever. He's gonna strike. Yeah, he is gonna lower our speed. Yeah, so smart play by him. And you eat that. You can. That is beautiful. That's beautiful. And I think he's going to try to take out my Lugia here. He is physical attacking him. He, he, he might be able to. Let's see what he, what he goes for. Lugia, eat up. Oh, no. You're just going to take you're just gonna take out my Incineroar. That's fine. Okay, so Incineroar goes down. He did a lot of work there. Plenty of work. I'm going to be able to get out Rillaboom. I'm going to be able to take out Calyrex. Then I'm going to bring out Rillaboom for the fake out. I'll save Nihiligo for the back end. You're gone. We get a defense drop on you. On the Mammoth Swine, and I do have a physical attacker with Roboom coming out. Yeah, we're playing really well. We are playing super well. Yes, sir. Solid battle so far. Hopefully, we can go 3 0. This, this battle is looking good. This will lead us into 2 0, and then maybe we can pull off a little victory in the third and final battle. But Roboom can come out here. Stab, super effective grassy guy with Life Orb, and the grassy terrain, and the minus one defense. I'm not worried about Mammo at all. I really am not. Um, I could protect you, I could guard. I could guard, but I'm really not worried about that, uh, yeah, what's it called? I'm really not worried about that Thunderous. He, he, actually, let's do this. Um, there's a chance that I'm worried about him. Not very effective. I'd rather just go for the Phantasm. There's a chance I'm worried about him. I am just going to do this. Because Mammoth Swine could protect here, too. Because instead of just, like, is he going to protect? No, we're just going to fake him out. Because... I'd rather my Lugia not go down here. Just play it safe here. He's gonna flinch because he was probably just gonna go into a wild charge. Try to take me out. Here goes the ice will crash. I'm in hot. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Uh, Robin does end up eating, which I absolutely love. Good for you, Robin. 
Phantasm comes out. They should be able to pick up the KO, no problem. It does not. Wow. Okay, so I can Grassy Glide. Uh, what do I Grassy Glide on? It's defiant. Who do I Grassy Glide on to? I feel like I have to do work on that Mammoth Swine. Man. I feel like I have to work on that Mammoth Swine. Oh, this is, this is actually coming a little bit closer than what I thought. I feel like I have to Grassy Glide onto the Mammoth Swine. And it's an Arrow Blast, I guess. Or Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball key. Grab them. Dang, I'm surprised that Phantasm didn't KO. The non stab. Ice Charge. Oh, he has Ice Charge. He's playing his game well. He's playing well here. Oh my lord. We, we might lose this one. I think we're going to lose this one. He's going to come out here with a Wild Charge. He's going to lash out. Dude, can you eat that? He's not dark. We're going to lose this one. He gets a crit. What you mean? Oh my lord. We're going to lose this one. Bro, I should seriously stop talking mid-battle. Every time I say we're gonna win this one, we lose. What you mean? Bro, dude, that's nuts. That is nuts. Um, go for Meteor Beam. I have my power hurt for a reason, but I think I gotta save that. I think I just need to get rid of you. I think I just need to get rid of you. The Hell Lego is, should be, I was gonna say Fashion Mammoth Swine. Well, that's it. Oh my lord! That Defiant boost was, he just, that was absurd. He just dominated us at the end of that. But yo, not a bad battle. I thought we were playing really good till that end. But we end up losing. We're one and one. We can look for a winning record now. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Going up against another Shadow Rider Calyrex team. Looking for that winning record. We're sitting at one and one. He also has Sableye, Regular Zapdos, Kartana, Tapu Koko, and the boy bro Tom Wash. All right. Um, so very special attacking here. He has a few physicals, but mostly special. So I am going to bring Incineroar in here. He has no Defiant. None of that. So I can snarl up and do some work all around. Uh, do I want to bring Lugia as a lead? Lugia's not bad. I definitely want to bring Lugia in here. I don't want to bring Grimmsnarl. Not even going to lie. Not even going to lie. I kind of want to bring Grimmsnarl. I like to pass her around and do some work there. Definitely bring Lugia. And then in the final spot, uh, do we go Rillaboom? Rillaboom's not bad. He really isn't bad here. I am going to bring Rillaboom. We're gonna bring real boom and we're gonna bring Grimstar here. We have that eject button. Usually, usually if I'm gonna lead this good Grimstar, I usually like to go in with a real boom. Considering I can grassy guide and trick and just uh, take out a Pokemon or if he's gonna Dynamax, we go off from there. But I think we should be fine. I really do think we should be fine. I can go into a fake out. I can do a lot. I can do a lot. I can start pestering with T waves. But I kinda just wanna take off somebody's item and roll off from here. And he's gonna go. Who's this two? He's gonna, okay, I definitely want that horse's item. I really do want that horse's item. 100%. He's gonna fake me out 100%. And I am going to try to snarl onto it. I'm definitely gonna try to uh, drop a snarl and take it, that thing's eye. I'm not dealing with him. I'm really not dealing with him. Eliminate's gonna do nothing. They're both. Actually, stabilize physical. He's usually rocking foul play if he's rocking any. But Spectre is really not gonna get anything. I'm for a snarl. And I am just going to go for a trick over on the time. Hopefully, he dynamaxes and he, he doesn't fake out. Be lovely. <laughs> and I just get off a trick when we roll from there. I don't really see him Dynamaxing. Let's see. Let's see what he does. Make a move, kind sir. Make a move. He's taking a lot. He's taking a lot. Yeah, that second battle was tough, man. It was really tough. He is going to ally switch. Okay, so we'll, we'll take your item. Stable eye. Still get a special special uh, drop on you, and it doesn't affect them. Does it not affect either of them? Is that just a dumb turn by me? Might have been a dumb turn by me. Alright, that's fine. You know, it, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Eject button's going out. <laughs> Should have just T wave. Should have just T wave. Um, we get out you. We get out Robin. Start taking off items like that. Then we get out off Robin here. I think it's the plan. Start slapping up on it. Hey, hey, give me that item. Hey, you got an item too? Give it to me. The surge popping. I could just go for glides. But I think I get after a save line with a big out. There's my snarl. Yoink. Make that thing go minus one. Nice damage. Nice damage. It's a crit on that thing. That's why I did so much damage. Jesus, man. And we do get that special attack shot, which is huge for us. And I think 
Another Snarl takes him out. He is policy rocking. Um, I think I just glide into him at this point now. Wait, I think I just glide into him at this point. Yeah, let's hit him with a glide. Really, I really, I really do not need all that going on. I really do want to knock off though, but glide is definitely the play. Glide's definitely the play to try to pick up this KO. I do not see him Dynamaxing. He's gonna ally switch. All right, so Glide is gonna go into you. And I did not see the double switch coming out. Crazy, man. Glide's gonna come into you. How much damage are you gonna be able to do? Decent amount there. That's huge. And as long as my instant war is fine, we'll be chilling here. But I can grass Glide in him again and pick up the easy KO. He's only plus one. This is gonna go for an Astral Barrage. I think both of my Pokemon should be decent here. Robin gets absolutely murdered on. Robin got absolutely dumped on. That's fine. Maybe double KO here? Definitely the Spectres. Thank God. Get it out of my face. I'm not trying to deal with it. I'm not trying to deal with it. Let's get out uh let's get out Grimmsnarl here now. I think Grimmsnarl should be chilling. Because I can just uh, start pestering and start T-waving up left and right and maybe you turn out. Go from there. And hopefully there's a physical attacker. Or not physical, a special attacker. So I can just keep dropping with these uh, snarls. Get out Grimmy. Do a spirit break. So it really depends what he goes into. I might just drop a spirit break on that thing try to KO that. I'm gonna go into Tapu Coco. That's totally fine by me. I'm just gonna snarl up again. Dropping that thing and I am going to... I am going to spirit break now. Instead of going for paralyzes. Actually sure just pop and he might Dynamax here. I could totally see a Dynamax. I do not see him. I really do not see him going for another Alice. I, I do not see him going for another Alice. I mean, if that's the case, we just get the special attack drop on him after a spear break. And we'll make that thing minus two. I like this thing's name right here. Because it's like a different language. Kapuriki. That sounds so sick. He's going to go for another Alice. Are you choosing to an Alice switch? Oh my lord. Thunderbolt's going to come out here. He'll be able to eat. We don't, of course. Of course we don't. He gets a crit. What, like, what is this game? I just don't understand it sometimes. I really don't understand it sometimes. Snarl's gonna come out. Snarl's gonna make that thing minus one. We KO that next one with the Snarl. I might go for a Calm Mind here. With my Lugia. Considering we have multi-scale ready, he already is minus one. I might just go, or I can get a special defense. With a, with a, with a Quake. I'm gonna snarl. I'm gonna calm mine. I really am thinking of calm mine. He does have a Dynamax, so in that case, let's not calm mine. Let's go for a straight max quake. We have multi scale. I could see him totally die. Actually, I do not see him Dynamax as he's minus one and he knows I have snarl on the field. But he just do really crit at my Grim Snarl. All I wanted was that spirit break out here. But kind of sick. I should have read the Alice, which he's gonna Alice, which again. He did it like three turns in a row. Hopefully, he doesn't do it this turn. Like, oh my lord. <laughs> Please don't ally switch, because Lugia is going to be faster than uh, Instant Aura. Get on my boy here. Can you proc my policy? That would be very lovely. It would be very, very lovely to proc my policy here. He does not ally switch. He does not, he does not do it. He procs my policy. Thank you. Thank you. He does not ally switch. Cool. That's how everything works out for us. Full switch can come out here. That's totally fine. Yeah, we're eating up. Whoever's coming out here is taking a big shot. We can bring it out here. We can bring it out here. Show me another special attack. This is another special attacker. GG. Going to be GG. This is that. Mm. No! A max quake is nothing. It is nothing, man. Table is dropping. I'm going to snarl up on the top of Coco because I'm not trying to do anything. Oh my lord, man. Come on! Well, he has Zapdos ready to go. I'm trying to use my max quick. Buttery biscuit, man. Lucky biscuit. Uh, I think I just keep snarling. Might be the play. I, th I think if I keep snarling it and I take out that Zapdos. Chillin'. There. Go for a Phantasm. Go for an Airstream and start trying to take speed. Not very effective with both, so. In that case, we're just gonna Phantasm. Then die. I still want to be close. Both electric and the terrain. Don't like it. I don't like it one bit. 
Not one bit. I could guard next turn and try to get rid of that Zapdos because he is going to Dynamax his Zapdos. Hopefully he goes with the Tapu. I'm hoping, but mm, that Volt Switch might have just won him the game. That's big, big. He is going to go Tapu. Okay, I'm a fan of that. I am a fan of that. I am a fan of that only because we get off Snarls. And hopefully we can at least get off one. Hopefully he doesn't double up into me. He's going to go for Max Lightning. Put on Lugia. Lugia should be able to eat fine. Yeah, yeah, so Lugia's eating up fine. He should be able to eat up whatever Zapdos has to offer as well. I'm going to go before Zapdos. Can we KO this thing? Maybe, maybe not. Do not. His, his coverage moves are... They don't do a lot of damage. We do get a defense drop. We're going to get a special defense drop. Or a special attack drop there. But I could guard next turn. No, wait. Do we think he's going to read the guard? We do eat. Zapdos going to take some damage there. Tomorrow's going to come out. Another Snarl will pick up the KO, I think. That'll be close. That's kind of close. Alright. Do I guard here? I think maybe I don't guard. I think maybe I don't guard. Maybe I just try to get it off with the fence drop. Maybe I try to force my hand over on this slot. Yeah, sh should have maybe guarded it. Might have been doubling up under me. That was gonna be close. I need that Snarl to KO this, uh. This Zapdos. Is that is Zapdos Life Orb? Did it say he was Orb or was that Coco? I'm gonna go for a Thunder. If he's Orb, we could be doing decent here. He Orb, he is. Okay, cool. So, Zapdos goes down here. He's minus two, and he's minus one on defense. So, normal can clutch this one up. Okay, Incineroar. Okay, baby. Let's start dropping Flare Blitzes on him. This one's going to be close. Four, the winning record. Can Incineroar pull it off? Um, I think I should start dropping Flare Blitzes in there, I think. Or I sh maybe should have snarled him one more turn. Wait for his Dynamax to be over. See what he does. I'm going to go for a Lightning here. Okay, Incineroar should be fine. I think we got this one. I think we got this one. Let's go, Incineroar. Let's get a baby. Let's get a baby. One more Flare Blitz. That's GG. Does he pick up the KO on this no more electric terrain. There's no way he picks up 68 damage. There's no way. Unless he gets a crit. Unless he gets a crit, right? Unless he gets a crit, he wins this game. There's no way a minus two is going to pick up 68 damage. Without the electric terrain now? No way Coco's doing it. And he's probably just rocking Gleam, and I don't see Gleam taking this out. Come on, and Cinnamore, yo. Show him the eats. He's going to protect. I don't know what the protect's doing, but he's just trying to stall. He's just trying to stall. Let's see. Come on. Let's go, Flare Blitz. Let's go. You just gotta eat, Incineroar. You just gotta eat. If he gets a Paralyze on me, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. No para. Give it to me. Let's go. Woo! Solid third battle. Picking up that victory. Going 2-1. and one. I think we should have been 3-0. and oh. We did get... We had a rough second... Or second half of second battle. But still, awesome battles for today. And we get a winning record. Not bad set of battles right there. We got to show off Lugia to a decently potential right there. It hits pretty hard when you get him set up, but the reason he doesn't really hit too, too hard all around is because he has no EVs in his attack. He's just HP and he is speed, but he's able to rock out regardless. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.